hello guys welcome back to my channel today is a friday and i am getting ready for this busy weekend that we have hazel's fourth birthday oh my gosh i cannot believe that she is four i don't know why but this birthday is just hitting me extra hard i think it's because she's like officially no longer a toddler i feel like she's grown so fast but i say that about all my kids anyways her birthday is tomorrow we're also having her birthday party it happens to fall on a weekend this year which is nice so we're doing it all on one day tomorrow which is saturday so i need to get the house ready for that i need to clean i'm going to be decorating tonight making goodie bags all that fun stuff and i'll be bringing you guys along with that we have a halloween party kids halloween party that we're going to later i'm trying to get everything not everything but a lot of things done for the party tomorrow because it's going to be earlier just because um, we do have a wedding that we're going to tomorrow. Right now, I'm going to be moving the big toy items that are in this uh, front room. Playroom is a huge mess right now because when it isn't it, but all these big items that don't really need to be in here, I'm going to move them downstairs so that we just have the most room possible. I just laid the girls' Halloween outfits out for later so that they're ready to go. I'll start with Isla. So Isla's being a puppy. She loves dogs. I couldn't really figure out what else for her to be. She loves dogs. She loves puppies. She loves all of it. So I thought it would be really cute if she was a puppy this year. I had a hard time finding a puppy costume for a toddler girl. I got all their costumes from Amazon. We were super last minute, but the older girls knew what they wanted to be. So I just searched for what they said, and then they were able to pick out what they wanted on Amazon and I got their costumes for so cheap. I'm probably never going to go to Target or any of those <laughs> stores that you go to in person. I paid $13 for this unicorn outfit, the whole entire thing. I think I paid 17 or 18 for Graceland's and then I think Isla's was $13, so super cheap. This is Isla's. <laughs> it's just a onesie with a paw print on it. It's like a Dalmatian puppy because that's all they had and then this is the cute little ears and then it just comes with this white polka dot skirt and it has the cute little bow on it this one's hazel she wanted to be a rainbow unicorn of course she's in her unicorn obsession and look at how cute this is sequin and it's got the rainbow skirt it also came with these wings and then this is the horn that goes with it and then grace one's gonna be the cheerleader girl from Zombies comes with these little pom-poms. And then it also comes with this cute little hair bow. She looks so freaking cute in this. I bought this too on Amazon. I think it was like $10. It's a face and body paint kit. But it comes with a lot of paint. There's tattoos, brushes, sponges. There is hair chalk in there. So if they want to do any face paint like Isla might do a little nose and some freckles or something then we can do face paint. This is always just good to have too for years to come. I got ready for the day. I'm now out of the house. I have my cute little boo shirt on for the Halloween party later. I'm running a few errands right now. I need to return this. This was what Grayson was gonna be, but she just wasn't feeling it. It's just a different girl from the Zombies movies, so I need to go return that. All right, I stopped at my mom's house to See if I can find a dress to wear to that wedding. My sister gave me some, but I, I'm not really liking the one she gave me. And she has tons of dresses that will fit me. This one's my favorite. I haven't tried it on yet. Brand new. Never wore. Oh, it's brand new? Yeah, I never wore that. I'm hoping it fits me because it's so well, you know, cute. I got it on the clearance rack for like $7. This is the first dress, but this, uh, this doesn't flatter my body at all. I know. It's so comfortable though, but... My hips are like too big for this. You can wear that. That's cute. That's cute on you. I wish it was tighter like this. Because I just look like a big blob. Like, see how it's there. cinched? Yeah. It looks so cute. Cinch. Something belty on it. Tie a ribbon around it, like a ribbon. I need to take my hair down here. This one's comfy. I thought the material would bother me. And it covers my arms. Good yeah, length. so it's nice that it covers your arms, but it's not hot. That's really cute. Wait, is this a good length? Wait a minute. 
Well, you just don't <laughs> bend over and show your whole booty. I love those dresses. Those are my Walmart dresses, and they do look good. They always look yeah, good. Yeah, you always love a good Walmart dress. <laughs> always love a good Walmart dress, I'm just saying. This covers my arms right where I want it to cover them. I think it's because they kind of flutter the sleeves a little bit. Yeah. And it's not, it's long enough. I mean, it's a little short, but, and it's stretchy and comfy. Now I'm going to try oh, this one. Oh, there's this. I know, I saw that, but it's a tank top. This is like way too this, much. And which is not flattering at all. For right. the chest. That right. seems like tablecloth material. Yeah, it's, I don't like it. I don't even know why I have it. This one's cute, but I don't think it's going to look good on my body. And I am I would probably sweat in this. It's pretty straight. I'm not going to be at the party. I'm just getting her out to dinner, get set up. I have tickets to this book signing. John Stamos, we're meeting him tonight. Are you serious? Yes, me and Kelly. So I don't tonight, believe you. I'm going oh to God. a book signing. By John Stamos, Uncle Jesse in Toledo, Ohio. I feel like you're lying. Right now. Library. So I'm a bad grandma because I can't make it to my daughter's Halloween party. Um, but I have been setting up for two days, and yeah, so me and Uncle Jesse hanging out tonight. Wait, so Bam. John Stamos is really gonna be there? Yeah, because he wrote a book, and he's gonna like do a lecture about his book. Like, there's gonna be a guy up there asking him questions about the book, and then we're gonna have a question and answer period, and then there's a photo opportunity moment. And you get a copy of the book with your ticket. How Thank you, was? Kelly, for taking me and inviting me. Just went shopping at my mom's. I'm going to take this dress, but I'm also going to take that black one in case I decide to wear that. And then she got the girls a bunch of really cute clothes from Walmart. I'll show these um, in a minute. I also changed because my mom had this really comfy shirt, and I was just not feeling the shirt that I had on and this one's so comfy it keeps me cool I don't know what the material is but it's really nice and I'm glad that I stole it she said I can keep it because she's lost a lot of weight and it doesn't fit her anymore she got Graceland this dress it's from Walmart it's just this unicorn and it's got like tool on the bottom I love the modern moments by Gerber brand I have a Jolly Rancher in my mouth right now this was six dollars on sale it's this one piece long pant outfits oh my gosh i didn't see this one this is the modern moments by the gerber six dollars so cute i love this one this one is by easy peasy it says and she paid full price for this so it's the pants i just love these kind of outfits they're my favorite and the onesie very stretchy too so she'll definitely be able to wear this for a while these are just the granimal brand so $3.98 each she got her this maroon one texture going through them I don't know if you can tell and they're also really stretchy love this color this like sea green did she mean to give me this now I'm going to go pick up Graceland from school and lastly I'm at Aldi to get my fourth pickup order this week i don't know why i keep forgetting things i've been ordering things for the party and then we run out of milk or we run out of something and i keep having to come back here this is seriously my fourth time i have done a pickup here i think after this pickup i have everything that i need for the party i just got a notification that hazel's cake for tomorrow is ready at walmart i ordered her cake from walmart this year because it had like the perfect unicorn cake it said it wasn't going to be ready until five it's four right now and i was going to plan to get it after the halloween party today but since it's ready right now and we're already out we're gonna go grab it i stopped and picked up hazy bug you ready to go get your cake yeah i want to go and get the cake do you remember what kind of cake we ordered uh, my new cookie. Yes! I'm looking for some shoes to wear with my dress to this wedding. I don't necessarily want to wear heels. I have heels, but it's supposed to be really nice again, warm. So I don't want to wear boots. I'll probably end up wearing the black heels I have, even though I don't want to wear heels because I'm going to be taller than Patrick, but that really doesn't matter. Oh, those are slippers. I actually want a pair of these, you know, like these kind but I'm not gonna get them today. Look at these, these are like fleece lined croc type shoes. Gigi would love these. I'll have to get her a pair. Ooh, those are cute. Yeah, but mommy doesn't need these. I, I don't think they're gonna have sandals here. Here's the cake, super cute. Actually, when we opened the box, the unicorn was like laid flat and Hazel was so confused. Oh my God, that's so pretty. Leave the unicorn in there, okay? Hazel licked it. Hazel Grace, that's gross. We went to the Halloween party that was fun for the kids. And now we're home. Patrick's in the process of getting the girls to bed right now. And I am 
gonna start setting everything up for tomorrow. I'm gonna wrap her presents first, get that all set up how I want it, and then I'll start decorating. outfits. I am three inches taller than my man in heels because I'm wearing these heels because I have nothing else to wear unfortunately and I'm Come really on, buggy, you gotta go in. But well, I think they make you look pretty. Petra yeah. says they make you look pretty so I'm wearing them. One more big birthday bug. Ready? Pretty. I love you so much. Wait for your love. Did you have a good day? Did you have a good birthday? We're going to this wedding a little bit late. We already told them that we were gonna be late, but the party went good. I'm gonna be honest though, I was very overstimulated. And I think it's because I was really tired, didn't get a lot of sleep. We slept like three to eight. Well, you slept till nine, so neither of us really got a whole lot of sleep. But we're gonna go to this wedding and hopefully have some fun. I don't know if I'm gonna so drink. Fun. Yeah. Yes, you I think are. Patrick's definitely gonna drink because he's been talking about it a lot. But I feel like when I drink, it just it makes me like too honest sometimes, and like I feel like that can sometimes be bad. Just well, from past experiences. You can, with, you can get better with experience. Like, it is the next morning. The wedding last night was so much fun. We well. <laughs> I, I didn't drink too much, but I definitely drank the most I've ever drank, and I was definitely feeling myself a little bit too much, but I had Patrick there to make sure I was safe because he didn't really drink that much, and I was just able to just like <laughs> let loose and have a really good time, and it was fun. I enjoyed my time, especially with him. 
it's really nice when me and him can get out and go do things where we like look nice and have a good time and we were also around all of his friends so i got to you know chat with his friends so it was just all around a good time we didn't get home too late we got home at like 10 but now it's the next morning shout out to my mom for staying behind after the party and taking care of the girls and putting them to bed she is amazing and we appreciate her so much and we're very very thankful that we have her in our life as the person who mainly watches our kids when we need someone. I do want to mention that all the decor from Hazel's birthday party was from this Amazon seller. I cannot pronounce the name, but I will have everything linked down below. Almost all of the decor that you guys saw was from them and it's super affordable and it's really cute. So if you're planning a unicorn party or they have other themes, I did want to show what I ended up putting in the goodie bags because I was kind of rushed last minute and I didn't end up filming the things that I wanted to film. So these goodie bags are also from that Amazon seller. So freaking cute and they had different um, designs too. But this one is Hazel so I'm just going to show you what I put in them. I got these little sticky things from Walmart that you can like throw and it sticks to the windows. These were perfect. Found them at Walmart as well. These little unicorn duckies Wern, Wernsay? Wernsay? I don't know how to say it. I don't want to say it wrong, but they are these uh, temporary tattoos. The kids always love these, so I put those in each of their bags. Also from, I'm just going to call it Wernsay, unicorn notebooks. So each kid got one of those, at least for the big kids they did, and then I gave each kid a mini play-doh. They also got candy from the pinata that they were able to put in here too. Here's some of the stuff that she got for her birthday. It's probably not all of it because it's just scattered everywhere, but she got this unicorn blanket. Look at this. It's so comfy. It has a little spot for your hands and the head is this unicorn. It kind of doubles as a pillow because this part's really thick. This is something she really wanted, so she was so happy to get this. It's a unicorn scooter. So neat. It lights up. And now she's going to be able to hand down her other scooter to Isla because Isla can ride a scooter now and has been really wanting one of her own. So she'll be happy that she'll get the hand-me-down scooter. My mom got her this Bentgo unicorn backpack and it's a decent size. Like it's a size for, you know, an actual kid, like kindergarten, first, second, third grade. So that'll be nice for... When the time rolls around, this cute unicorn makeup bag. I think this came with makeup that she can put in it, but of course we put that up high because we don't do makeup unsupervised. She's got this really cute pink sweatsuit set from Walmart. This is also another gift that she really wanted. She's been wanting roller skates and she specifically picked out these unicorn ones, so she was really happy she got those. There's a book right here. This also is from Wernsay. It's a sequin unicorn notebook. Came with this glittery pencil. That's one of the gifts that I got her. She's got Play-Doh, Play-Doh tools, and more Play-Doh in here. The girls were playing with it this morning. And just a bunch of little unicorn, bunch of little unicorn figures, all that. And then as you guys know, we got her the vanity. I was not able to see her reaction, which I was a little bit upset about because I was so excited to see her reaction but Gracelyn and her woke up before me and they went downstairs and you know Hazel saw everything and then Gracelyn came upstairs and was like hey mom Hazel's awake and wants to open up her presents and I was like darn it I wish you guys would have woke me up before before you went down there but it's fine I actually could go back on our cameras and see if the camera caught her reaction the vanity is right next to the bed honestly we have like nowhere else to put this and I don't know if the door, the door just shuts. It legit just shuts. Our house is such a mess right now. I desperately need to do like a reset. I'm just, I'm exhausted. It's not necessarily like what is happening, like the parties and camping, like it's not doing those things. I think it's more so the socializing that really exhausts me, like socializing drains me. It drains me and it makes me feel like I need to just sit in a quiet room for hours when I'm done. It's very exhausting and draining for me to be social. What is going on? Hi, Do you see the erection? Look, Look at her. <laughs> <laughs> Isla, do you want to take a break a bit? Isn't it funny that we spend so much time cleaning for a party just to have to clean the same exact things that we cleaned before the party? 
right after the party is over. It's almost like, what is the point? But our carpet was so dirty before the party, so I was like, I have to vacuum. Like, that's so gross if I don't vacuum. And this morning, the carpet, there's so many crumbs all over the carpet, but there's also a lot of kids running around with cake and food and all that. And the kids have been playing with all Hazel's new stuff, like the Play-Doh and everything. So there's a hot mess in this house right now. I need to take an magic eraser to this table because it is so marked up with pen. Bunch of pen right here, Let's see if it comes off. I know that this takes the finish off of the wood, but this table is already ruined anyway, so I don't really care. It's already discolored in a lot of spots and it is definitely our table that we're gonna have until it's completely destroyed. And when the kids get a little bit older, we'll get a new nice table, but until then, we're gonna let this thing get completely wrecked. Taking all these little unicorns that I got for the gift bags um, for all the kids, but these are the ones that I just have left over. We're gonna use Mom them in the bath. But I'm gonna Mom super glue. It. Is it stuck? No. I'm gonna super glue the holes because I don't want them to get nasty and moldy inside. I came outside to clean our pumpkins off. They're very dirty. We're gonna hopefully get around to carving or painting uh, pumpkins later on. And we got one, two, three, four, we got five pumpkins for $10. The place we went to, the pumpkin patch, they were doing however many pumpkins you could carry for $10. We definitely didn't carry these. They didn't care that much. We just <laughs> picked how many we needed. Oh God, was that a spider? Taking the new scooter for a test ride. <laughs> She's got her balloons on it. Set the pumpkins right here so they can dry, and then later on we'll go ahead and carve them or paint them. I feel like I want to paint mine. My poor baby, she was fighting her nap so hard, refusing it, so I put on a movie for her and she is knocked out on the couch. So she's gonna take a little couch nap. It's been a slow day, I've been cleaning up. Pretty much everything is cleaned up from the party. You just gotta put these tables back. All right, we're gonna carve and paint some pumpkins. I found this tablecloth that I saved from last year, which will be useful. That was my pumpkin, turn it out. Hazel's doing a, well, is it going to be a rainbow pumpkin, you said? Yeah, I am. Rainbow pumpkin? Yeah. I'm doing a pink base, and I think I'm going to draw some white ghost once this dries. Gigi, what are you doing? I'm making a cool art project when I'm done. This one Isla and Patrick just did, but then Isla face planted into the pumpkin, and she got paint all over her face. So Where? they just kind of right here. I don't know what the heck that is. What is that supposed to be? I want to show the final results of our pumpkins. This one is Hazel's. This one's Graceland's. Hers ended up looking like a galaxy. She mixed gold paint with all the other paint. I like yours. Thank you. I did pink with polka dots. And then this one is the one that Patrick and Isla did. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog right here. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.